You know, Windows Server 2019 failover cluster, this also affects 2016, we need to make sure that we have DNS set up properly for our cluster. Now, when we create our cluster, it's supposed to automatically create a DNS entry in our DNS manager for our domain controllers in order for the cluster to work properly. So we can see we've got cluster two at the top, but we don't see down here any information about cluster two, which means that the DNS is not yet set up properly. Now, this is supposed to happen automatically, but if it doesn't happen or just doesn't happen for a while, maybe because there's a delay, then you won't be able to use your cluster the way you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over into my domain controller in DNS Manager, and I'm going to add this record and make sure it works. I'm in my DNS Manager, and I don't see cluster 2 in the list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click under my domain, which is my Active Directory domain techpub.us, and I'm going to choose New Host. And I'm going to type in cluster 2, and it doesn't matter if you use upper or lower case. And I'll put in my IP address. I know it was 204 because that's what it was when I set it up. I'll click Add Host. Now, you don't need to do the pointer record, the PTR record. It's really not necessary. There's my cluster 2 with dot .204. Next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I can ping it. So I'll just bring up a command prompt or PowerShell. It doesn't really matter. And I'll ping cluster 2, which is the name of my cluster. You just ping the name of yours. And it looks like it's up and running. Now I'm going to switch back to my cluster and make sure all my information shows up now. And I'm back in my failover cluster manager. I just had to refresh and look at that. There are my cluster resources. It's tied to my IP address. Cluster 2 is working. I even pinged it from here, and I was successful pinging it. So without that DNS entry, you're going to find that failover cluster just does not work right. And as I mentioned before, you may not be able to wait for it to be automatically created. And that creation can take anywhere from a few minutes up to a few hours, depending on how busy your servers are. So that's how you add the DNS entry and fix any DNS issues in a failover cluster using Windows Server 2019, as well as older versions.